My next guest was used also in worshiping the devil, participated in human sacrifice rituals, rituals and cannibalism. She says her family has been involved in rituals for generations. She is currently in extensive therapy, suffers from multiple personality disorder, meaning she's blocked out many of the terrifying and painful memories of her childhood. Meet Rachel, who is also in disguise to protect her identity. You come from generations of ritualistic uh, abuse? Um, yes, my family has an extensive family tree, and they keep track of who's been involved and who hasn't been involved. And it's gone back to, like, 1700. And so you were... Right. Maybe. I was born into a family that believes in this. And, and this, is a, this is... Does everyone else think it's a nice Jewish family? From the outside, you appear to be a nice Jewish girl? Definitely. And you all are worshipping the devil inside the home? Right. There's other Jewish families across the country. It's not just my own family. Really? And so who knows about it? Lots of people now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I talked to a police detective in the Chicago area, and several of my friends know, and I've spoke publicly before. And so when you were brought up in this, this kind of evilness, did you just think it was normal? Um, I've blocked out a lot of the memories I had um, because of my multiple personality disorder. But yes, I mean, it's like if you grow up with something, you think it's normal. Mm -hmm. I always thought... So what kinds of things? You don't have to give us the gory details, but what kinds of things went on in the family? Um, well, there would be rituals in which babies would be sacrificed and you would have to, you know... Who's babies? Um, there were people who um, bred babies in their family. No one would know about it. A lot of people were overweight, so you couldn't tell if they were pregnant or not. Or they would supposedly go away for a while and then come back. The other thing I want to point out, not all Jewish people sacrifice babies, I mean. No, no. It's not a very I think we kind of know thing. that. <laughs> I just want to point that out. This is the first time I heard of any Jewish people sacrificing babies. But anyway, so yeah, you witnessed the sacrifice. Right. Um, when I was very young, I was forced to participate in that, in which I had to sacrifice an infant. And the, the purpose of sacrifice is to what? Is to bring you what? What are you sacrificing for? For power. Uh-huh power and so were you you were ever used were you ever used yourself um i was molested i was raped several times mm -hmm. um and what's your mother doing um she's in all of this what's her role in all of this what is i'm not exactly what her role is i haven't you know recovered all of my memories but her family was extremely involved mm -hmm. um you know she brought me to it mm -hmm. both of my parents brought me to it and where is she now? Um, she um, lives in the Chicago metropolitan area. She's on the Human Relations Commission of the town that she lives in. And she's an outstanding citizen. Nobody would suspect her. Were you raised with a sense of right and wrong, Rachel? Yeah. I mean, it's like we, I had both. I mean, to the outside world, everything we did was proper and right. And then there were the nights that things changed, that things just got turned around. What was right was, what was wrong was right, and what was right was wrong. That's what helps to create somebody to develop MPD. Mm -hmm. Multiple personalities. Right. right. Now, in your family, did you all call it worshiping the devil? No. Rachel, or did, I don't know. It was just evil, it these was, things you did. Right. right. Well, I said it was evil, and mm -hmm. they said it was good. Um, there's a book that I had just come across called Lilith's Cave, which is a book of Jewish mysticism and um, supernatural. And there's a lot in that book that relates to what I, you know, endured when I was a child. 